Hey, what's up, rock stars? It's Rox coming to you today with the review for Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 14, episode 14. So, you guys, I'm still sick. I don't know what I have. I took a COVID test, it came back negative. Everybody was like, you probably still got it. <laughs> it was just like, y'all just gonna make me have COVID, huh? Anyway, I'm just treating it like it is COVID, even though the test was negative or whatever. Um, you know, I'm staying away from everybody. Everybody is gone to work. And I've just been trying to take care of myself. Actually, yesterday, Monday was a bad day. I didn't feel good yesterday. But today I feel better. Not 100%, definitely not even 75%, but maybe 60 Yesterday, I probably was at 30%, so today is 60. I'm hoping by tomorrow, I'll be, be back at 90. Um, but I was just like, okay, so I took today off from my regular work. But I feel like I need to get these videos done because I just do not want to get that far behind. But it should already go without saying that I ain't doing no impersonations or none of that because nigga just trying to get through the video. But uh, anyway the review let's get to it shall we all right you guys so this episode kind of felt like a filler which is never really good when a trip episode feels like a filler usually the trip is full of a whole bunch of excitement and shit going on and it really wasn't like that so i just sort of was just like uh, an hour of this okay anyway it's the next morning and the group is all meeting um downstairs in the lobby uh, to get started on their day. Candy's in her room. She's telling Todd how she's done with Marlo and Todd is telling her how Marlo is just trying to get under your skin, just trying to get a rise out of you, just trying to have a moment. Don't even let it rile you. Sonya's excited about the trip and all of the people being there in her um, home, in her home place of Jamaica. She says that um, everybody usually goes to Montego Bay or whatever, but she wants to take them to Kingston um, to where she was uh, raised. So as soon as Marlo, Kenya, and Candy make it downstairs, you know, they can get on the bus and they can leave. But before they leave, um, and Drew and Ralph has made it down there as well, before they leave, Sonya gives Drew a present, which always feels quite shady that Sonya, um, you know, she's definitely an Olympic champion. So she she deserves to toot her own horn, but the fact that she gives it to Drew, and we already know the drama between her and Drew, but she does give Drew um, a official and official Olympic uniform for track and um, track and field because apparently Drew used to run track back in the day. Drew says that she she feels like it was a little bit of slick shade, but she's gonna just get past it. It was anyway. Uh, Candy and Todd, Marlo, they all make it down to the bus. Kenya still hasn't made it down, you know, and, K and Candy was just like, I don't think Kenya's gonna make it, all right? And they were like, why? Candy was just like, ah, oh, she got all these issues or whatever she starts. I was just like, I'm starting to get tired of Kenya being late because it feels very passive aggressive. Like either you're gonna show or you're not gonna show. Like this getting late, being late, for whatever reason, it just gets on my nerves. I hate waiting on people. That is like one of my pet peeves. I don't like doing it. So this will quickly get on my nerves. She obviously doesn't plan on going or being going with them. Why don't you just say that? I will meet up with you guys later. But this little thing that she's doing is wearing on my nerves. So Sonya calls her and asks her, is she coming down? And she was just like, okay, I'm coming. All right, but she's up in the room. She's admiring the view from her room, the ocean and all of that. It's just like, you can tell she has no intentions of going down there. You got the whole group waiting on you, you know? So Sonya eventually tells her that they've got to go. They're going to leave. And Kenya says, okay, I'll, I'll meet you guys there. So while they're on their way there, you know, they're on the bus and Marlo is saying how she don't think she's going to be able to do this run because she hasn't been able to go to the bathroom you know, this morning, so she's not sure. Sonya says that Marlo's been trying to get out of the race, but it's gonna happen, it's going down. I said, I wanna see Marlo's big butt run. She just don't seem like the type that's athletic at all. Anyways, you guys, on the bus, they go to Sonya's old neighborhood. They all get off the bus. 
Sonia saying this is where she grew up. It's an apartment building. She's number 37, you know, and then she sees one of her aunties, you know, aunties, um, one of the women that she grew up with her mom, one of her mom's best friend, you know, she calls her auntie and the auntie was happy to see her, you know, and hugged and Marlo asked the lady, what was Sonia like, you know, so they all have a little conversation and Sonia's just happy to be there. And I'm sure she's proud of herself, of all of her accomplishments. Look, you're showing up in your old neighborhood with the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast. Okay, girl, you made it. So anyway, after they do a little walk around the neighborhood, I guess they get back on the bus. <clears throat> on the bus, you know, just talking, shooting the shit, start talking about Kenya's boyfriend. What did you think about, not boyfriend, the guy that she brought to the dinner the night before. What did you think about Kenya's um, date? I was just like, what could we think about him? Nobody, he, he, the shit popped off so fast. Nobody had time to even know anything about him. So it was nothing they really could say anyway. Sonya takes him to the Devon house and she says that it used to be a plantation home and now it's like a big venue and people get married there. Parents got married there and everything. They have an ice cream shop and um, they're all gonna go and get ice cream. So everybody gets their orders in or whatever and then Sheree and Marlo go off to the side and Sheree was just like, yeah, maybe you was a little too aggressive last night. And Marlo said that she wants Candy to stay out of her business. Oh, it's just like that Marlo is so hilarious. It's funny because at the same time they're talking to Candy and Candy said that she felt like Marlo was just being hypocritical. Like you do all of the shit that you do, but then you ride and Ralph about what he did. You know, as far as uh, him not necessarily adopting the boys, like she just felt like she was being a hypocrite. Girl, worry about your life and stop worrying about this man's life. So Candy couldn't sit back and watch that. And then on top of that, when, when Marlo started talking about her husband, then of course, Candy was just like, the bitch is just disrespectful, okay? And that's when she just had enough of Marlo. She can deal with Marlo if it's just talking about her on the show or whatever. But when you start talking about what, what did Nene say? Her mama, her man, or her money. Okay, that's a different thing. Okay, my man, my man, my man. <laughs> <coughs> so she was just like Marlo needed to stop giving the man the third degree. I don't think I told you guys that Marlo actually did apologize to Ralph when they first got on the bus. She said it was sort of like a trigger for her and she just, you know, went on and on and on, but she shouldn't have done that. And then she apologized and it seemed that Ralph and Drew had accepted the apology. So we moved on from that. Now, one of the things that I told you that annoys me about Sonya and Drew is that they have to address every single thing, okay? Certain things you just need to accept. Certain things, you know, you recognize it for what it is and you move accordingly, but you don't have to talk to everybody about the shit all the time. So of course she pulls uh, Kenya to the side and she was just like, I just need to know why you were late, you know, because, you know, if it was, the, if the tables were turned, I would definitely have been there for you. And then Kenya starts up on this whole thing about Brookie and how Brooke is having an issue, or I mean, how Mark isn't being around, and, you know, she's making, she wants to make sure that the relationship between Mark and Brooke is solid, and how the divorce has been stressful, and she gets to crying and everything, and I was kind of with Sonya, when Sonya was just like, every time I talk to her, or confront her about something, it's always about that divorce, okay? I mean, I'm sure that Kenya is having a hard time with the divorce, but I also feel like Kenya does use that you know, as an excuse. And I don't know why Kenya is being this way when she's always been able to pretty much say how she feels. And if she don't want to do something, she just don't do it. Why all of a sudden it's this whole coy, like I said, passive aggressive kind of thing. Um, but the fact that she said that it was because of the baby and her husband or assumed to be ex-husband or whatever, you know, that just has her stressed and upset. And what can Sonya say? She can't argue with her about that. So Sonya just lets it go. Like I said, you shouldn't even have confronted her about that. You should just move accordingly. Once you realize what a person is doing, then you just do different. But uh, whatever, it's time to get on the bus. They got to go to the track. <clears throat> and so everybody's getting on the bus and Candy and Todd are already on there. Marlo was like, look, Candy, uh, Simon, got, Simon got Porsche, uh, uh, a Rolls Royce, a Bentley. And, and Candy was just ignoring her. And she was just like, Candy. And she was just like, why are you talking to me? 
And Marlo was like, girl, you still mad about what happened yesterday? You need to grow up. No, Marlo, you need to grow up. Are you really expecting this woman to sit there? I mean, you just went back and said all that shit about her yesterday, but then you think that she gonna sit up here and just be giggling with you about what Simon got for Portia. Portia and Simon, neither one of them on this show. Like, why are you even talking to Candy about that? All right? So, um, you know, Candy was just like, don't say shit to me. And she was just like, I can say whatever I want. You know, candy, candy, candy. Acting like a fucking middle schooler when she's telling Candy to grow up. Child, it was a mess. Candy was just like, you know what, fuck you, all right? Candy don't have no more patience for Marlo. And Marlo is continuing to think that she ain't done nothing. That Marlo is special. So anyway, you guys, they drive over to the, um, to the track and uh, we are going to have a race, remember? And the race is going to be, I don't know how we ended up picking these two, but the race is between Sheree and Marlo. And even though Marlo was feeling like she wasn't going to do it, honey, Marlo was like, okay, I'm fixing to jump into this all wholeheartedly. Okay, so she goes and changes her clothes, put on a little teeny tiny little sports bra type top and some little panties, they're big ass all out. And when she come back out, Sonya brings her and Sheree back out. I'm sorry, not Sheree, Drew. When Sonya brings uh, Marlo and Drew back out, you know, everybody's laughing like, look at this, Marlo is not playing no games. I was like, Marlo said, damn it, even if she lose, she gonna look good doing it. But oh, and be, lo and behold, Marlo doesn't lose the race, okay? <clears throat> Marlo actually wins by a leg, okay? And everybody was just like, what at Marlo? They was both looking like they was having a hard ass time. I said, Drew, girl, you might have ran track back in the day, but we couldn't tell the thing. <laughs> you know, of course, when Marlo wins and everybody is celebrating, then all of a sudden Drew falls down on the ground. Okay, she says she felt her ankle snap. And when she gets down there, it was funny, the Bravo camera is going to catch the fact that this is a different leg than the leg that was bothering her before or the foot or the Achilles, whatever it is. But Drew seems to think that she's torn her um, Achilles. And, um, <clears throat> you know, at first I'm just sitting there listening and I'm thinking to myself like, oh God, here goes Drew. You know, it's always something with Drew, you know. And uh, everybody was just like, oh no, you know, are you gonna be okay? Anyway, while she's down there on the floor, the prime minister of sports, in Jamaica comes, you know, Sonia was like, the prime minister's here, prime minister's here, okay? So Marlo was like, shit, I got my ass all out and I'm supposed to be meeting the prime minister. Let me go put some pants on. Anyway, the prime minister comes over, introduces herself, you know, Sonia introduces her to all the ladies and everybody there. And then the prime minister goes up to Drew and was just like, do you need to go to the doctor? Like, I'll make sure that you go to the best here in Jamaica. And Drew was just like, oh, I'm feeling the love. You know, Sonya got these connections. She knows everybody here. I was like, girl, you better take advantage of them connections whenever you can, okay? So, um, yeah, they're gonna take Drew off to the hospital and um, the rest of them are gonna continue on with the day. And sure enough, when she goes to the hospital, they tell her that, yes, she does have a torn Achilles. So, um, she calls the girls and tell them, and they're all like, oh no, like, damn, we are so sorry that happened to you. Only to Drew, right? Um, so Drew is man down. But anyway, you guys, it's the end of the day. They're back on the bus, and Sonya's telling them about the itinerary for the next day. Some of them are going to go on the photo shoot. Some are gonna go on the catamaran. You know, she has it all planned out for them, okay? And tells them the times and all of that. Now, the next morning, Marlo is down at the bus bright and early. I think they had to be there at 9.30, so it wasn't like they even had to be down there super early. But Marlo is already on the bus. She's ready to go to the iFit shoot. She says she's on time for the first time in her life. Now, Sheree and Kenya are not down there. Sonya is just like, where are they? They don't know where they are. And so it's, I was just like, how big is the fucking lobby? Why is it that we can't find the girls? I'm starting to feel like this whole thing was set up. So anyway, Sonya can't find Kenya and, and uh, Sheree, I guess. So she's got to get to her, her, her thing, her job. So they leave. You see Kenya trying to call and the, and the 
concierge tells her that the bus already left like 20 minutes ago and you know Kenya's getting agitated and I just don't understand why there was so much confusion in the meetup place. So while Ross and Sonya are at their iFit shoot and they're doing their lines and you know Marlo is there recording them and all excited and happy about it um, Kenya and Sheree are back at the hotel mad. They feel like they were disinvited. Magneta tells her that she hopes that it was just a miscommunication. Maybe something went wrong there. But it wasn't no miscommunication. I don't know how hard it is to say, be downstairs at 9.30 in the lobby. Like something is, is some foolery here, you guys. They pulling our legs. But whatever. After um, Sonya and um, Ross's shoot, Sonya and Marlo go sit down and talk. All of a sudden, Sonya and Marlo are ace boom coons, all right? And I was like, Sonya just gonna continue on with this whole thing with Marlo just for her to stab you in the back eventually, girl. But that's what they all seem to do on this damn show. So I guess it's just, it goes with the, the, the territory. Now, Candy had already, I must have decided that she wasn't going on this shoot, okay? And since Drew, wasn't feeling well because of her um, Achilles and she's just sitting in the room. Candy goes down to Drew's room because Candy has an audition coming up. Candy was just like, one monkey don't stop no show. She still got to practice, okay? So she's going to use Drew to help her rehearse. Well, Drew get to telling her about these different concepts of acting and, you know, different methods for her. And I'm sure it would have been helpful, but Candy was just sort of like, girl, don't nobody want to know all of this. Let's just read the lines, okay? Anyway, um, Drew starts telling Candy how she doesn't feel like Marlo and Sonya's friendship is genuine because Marlo actually did say some things about Sonya to her when she was over at Marlo's house helping to get that shit together, remember, for Sheree. So, and I was like, of course it's not genuine because Marlo is not genuine for anybody on that show, except for herself. She says that she's starting to think that Marlo is messy. I was like, you think, Drew? But anyway, back to the group. Sheree, Kenya, Sheree's friend, Magneta, and Magneta's husband, Heath. I know Heath was just like, how I end up with these group of women? Um, but they are all going to go on the catamaran for the day. Kenya takes over the mic. She's the MC slash hostess, acting like she's Sonya Richards Ross, who would have said these same things had she been uh, not rude enough to keep them off of the damn uh, iFit shoot. Uh, anyway, she, um, you know, Kenya is ready to have a good time. Um, is food, is drinks on the boat, is music, they're on the water, they're dancing, they're dancing with the crew, you know, we see all of this going on, they look like they're having a good time. And really, maybe they didn't need to go on that iFish shoot, because if this is official, official business that Sonya was on, you know how them girls do. It was going to be some sort of confrontation there, so let's just, you know, especially with Marlo being there and Kenya, it was already expected to something to go down. So it's probably best that Kenya didn't go on that shoot. Anyways, you guys, after they finish dancing and, you know, joking around with the staff and everything, they sit down to eat and they ask Sheree about her um, fashion line, you know, the fashion show coming up. Well, Sheree says that she's changed it to a fashion presentation because um, she's a little concerned that some of her pieces might not make it there. So she don't want to have the pressure of an actual fashion show that it'll actually be a presentation. I was just like, girl, you already starting off like this? Why are you even going through this charade? I think she just determined to, to have this, but ain't nobody checking for that mess. Ciao. Anyways, do you have models for it? You know, she was just like once um, Kenya to audition. Kenya was like, excuse me, I was Miss America, Miss USA, whatever she was. Like, are you serious? Okay, I done been down some runways in my life, you know, but anyway. Can you get up and do a little something? Then Magneta get up and do a little something. It's more like twerking for like a video or something. And Sheree was like, no, 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 not the video vixen. I just need a fashion model. So I think she's going to pass on Kenya and Magneta. So anyway, you guys, it is that evening. It's the last night that they will be in Jamaica. And so everybody is getting ready to go to dinner. We see Sonya and Ross. They're all dressed nicely. And then Sheree meets them downstairs. I guess they're all walking to the bus. And Sheree says how she was disinvited. And Sonya was like, don't even start that shit because you guys was not disinvited. I don't know where you guys were. We was down there. We was ready to go. 
okay? And we didn't see you guys. So Sonya's annoyed with that whole thing. She was like, Kenya can come with the bullshit if she wants to. But Sonya knows that she didn't see them girls down there in that lobby when it was time to go. Anyways, you guys, everybody gets on to the bus and we go to Rose Hall. Okay, so once they get there, they all get seated. It's all set up real nicely. Um, the staff there tells them what the menu is, um, what the drink for the night is, and um, then we're off to the races. So anyway, while they're sitting there, um, they ask Ralph about the book and are we gonna get an, an excerpt from the book? He says, oh, you guys wanna hear an excerpt? So he actually gets up, uh, gets his phone out, and I guess he reads part of um, his book to the, to the group. And, Everybody was just like, oh, that is really, really good. You know, they were very impressed by the stuff that Ralph was saying. Even Drew, Drew said she had a little tear about the sweet things that he was saying about being a father to um, her son. And uh, so she said she's going to table the adoption conversation for now. She's just proud of her husband, Ralph. But of course, things don't say this positive forever because Kenya starts whispering with Sheree. Sheree tells Kenya how she confronted Sonya about it and what Sonya said. So now uh, Kenya has a problem and asks Sonya like, how you just gonna say that you didn't disinvite us to the shoot? You told us to come, we was downstairs and then you didn't never, uh, you know, let us know. Sonya was just like, all I know is that you weren't down there when I said it was time to go. And then Kenya was just like, but you didn't even check on us to see what we were doing. And, and Sonya was like, what did you want me to do? I'm working. Like, you want me to call you in the middle of my, my shoot and just be like, oh, let me make sure that Kenya and Sheree are okay. And Kenya was like, yes, okay. But I think Sonya was already irritated with Kenya from the day before, from, you know, I mean, from earlier that day from being late and everything. I mean, the day before from being late. So it was just sort of like, girl, Ain't nobody got time to be sitting up here waiting for you this whole time. So for the for, for one of the rare times, I'm actually on Sonya's side. So anyway, Kenya starts going off on Sonya and Ross was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, y'all don't fuck with my wife. All right, he don't roll like that. And I was just like, oh, that's how we roll on Real Housewives of Atlanta, Ross. Okay, you gonna either get with the program or you gonna be fighting quite a bit too. All right, better learn how to let these women handle what they handling and leave it alone. All right, Ross is still new to it, but he'll he'll catch on soon enough. All right, you guys, that is it, child. I still gotta do power. I'm just like not even feeling that show, but maybe it'll get better. Anyway, you guys, <clears throat> make sure that you rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm It's Rocks, the channel is It's Rocks. Everything else I do will be in the bottom bar. All right, all right, so I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, and I plan on doing the same. Till next time, Rockstars. Bye.